Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. See, based on the request from many students in yesterday's video, I had discussed SSLC science question paper pattern. In today's video, I will be discussing about math question paper pattern. Because when I posted SSLC science question paper pattern, many of the students has messaged in the Instagram to post the SSLC math question paper pattern. So the first thing I would like to clarify in this video whatever the contents I am sharing so these points are based on previous year SSLC public examination maths question paper and the general marks allotment which is given for math subject from our Karnataka secondary educational examination board every year okay so first I would like to discuss about the general question paper pattern so Prati Varsha Koda maths question paper ili ide question paper pattern irate. So the first main will be MCQ. So totally 8 questions will be there. 1 mark MCQ, 8 question will be there for 8 marks. And second main, 1 mark question will be there. So 1 mark question, 8 question for 8 marks. Then 2 marks question, there will be 8 question. 2 marks, 8 question for 16 marks. Then 3 marks question, there will be 9 question. So, 3 mark night question for 27 marks and 4 marks question, 4 marks question, 4 questions will be there for 16 marks and 5 marks question, there will be 1 question. So, 1 question for 5 marks, it carries 5 mark. Okay, totally there will be 38 questions for 80 marks and this is the general pattern. Every year, our Karnataka Secondary Educational Examination Board follows this pattern in maths question paper. So, this is the general question paper pattern. There is no changes in this pattern. So, now I would like to discuss about the choice based questions. See, according to our previous year's maths public examination question paper, there was two choice based questions in two marks questions and there was four choice questions in three marks questions and there was one question in four mark question. Andre, choice kodtare one on the questions ge. So, two marks question ali, two choice based question ittu. Three marks questions ali, four choice questions ittu. Four marks question ali, one the choice question ittu. Idu last year public examination paper nali iddanta choice based questions. So, next I will be telling you about the marks distribution based on the themes. See, in maths, the marks are distributed based on the themes. There are totally 7 themes in the maths. Okay. So, the first theme is number system. Number system only baruanta lesson real numbers. Okay. So, the marks allotment E theme give 4 mark. Last year question paper only. So, 1 mark 1 question and 3 mark 1 question was there. For this theme, totally 4 mark was allotted in the last year question paper. But this year, this lesson is deleted. Real numbers lesson is deleted. So, the marks allotment will be 0. Okay, there will be no marks which will be allotted for this lesson in this year maths question paper. Next, theme 2 algebra. The lessons fall under this theme are pair of linear equation in two variable, arithmetic progressions, polynomials, quadratic equations and the total marks allotment for this theme is 26. When we look at the last year public examination question paper, so for pair of linear equation in two variable, 7 marks was allotted. So totally 3 questions was given, 1 mark 1, 2 mark 1 and 4 mark 1 question was given from this part. And next lesson arithmetic progression, 7 marks was allotted, 3 questions was given, 1 marks 1. 2 marks 1 and 4 marks 1 and when we look at polynomials lesson 6 marks was allotted in the previous year question paper but this year as polynomials lesson is deleted so the allotment of marks will be 0 for this lesson. So the next lesson is quadratic equations. So in the previous year question paper 6 marks was given for this lesson. There was totally 3 question 1 mark 1, 2 mark 1 and 3 marks 1 question. If you observe pair of linear equation, arithmetic progression and quadratic equation, see there will be one 4 mark question from this part and here also there will be one 4 mark question and here you can observe 3 mark question is also given. So, you need to give more importance for these parts. Okay. So, the next theme is a trigonometry. So, the lessons fall under this stream. 
So the lessons fall under this theme are introduction to trigonometry, applications of trigonometry. The total marks allotment for this theme is 9 mark. So when we look at the previous year question paper, for this lesson 5 marks was allotted and for applications of trigonometry 4 marks was allotted. Okay, you can also look at the number of questions given from both the lessons. Next theme for coordinate geometry, the lesson fall under this theme is coordinate geometry. The total marks allotment for this theme is 5. When we look at the previous year question paper, there was totally 3 question, 1 mark 1, 2 mark 2 question was there. Totally 5 marks was allotted for this lesson. Next theme 5 probability, the lessons fall under this theme are statistics and probability. So the total marks allotment is 9 mark. When we look at the previous year question paper, from statistics 2 questions was given. So totally 6 marks was allotted, 3 marks 2 question was given. Next for probability lesson 3 marks was given in the previous year question paper. But this year as the probability lesson is deleted, there will be no marks allotment for this lesson. So next theme 6 geometry, the lessons fall under this theme are triangles, circles and constructions and the total marks allotment is 17 for this theme. When we look at the previous year board examination paper, 7 marks was allotted for triangles and there was 3 questions from this part. Okay, And when we look at the circles lesson, 5 marks was allotted in the previous year paper, 1 mark 2 question and 3 marks 1 question. And from construction part, and for construction lesson 5 marks was allotted, 2 marks 1 question and 3 marks 1 question. Okay. So next theme 7 mensuration. So when we look at mensuration, the lessons fall under this theme are areas related to circles, surface area and volume. The total marks allotment is 10. When we look at the previous year question paper, for areas related to circle 4 marks was allotted. But this year, as this lesson is deleted, there will be no marks allotment for this lesson. Next, moving to surface area and volume. In previous year question paper, 6 marks was allotted for this lesson. 2 question for 1 mark and 1 question for 4 mark. So now if you look at the deleted portions, real numbers carry 4 marks, polynomials carry 6 marks, probability lesson carry 3 marks, areas related to circles carry 4 marks. These 17 marks in a they will allot for different lessons which are carried for this year. Okay, but we need to wait for board's decision where exactly this 17 marks will be distributed. So, first preparatory examination question paper, board in the Baruanta paper na nahu nodre, namge exact tagi e 17 marks na yaudela bere teams ke distribute madi darenta namge clear picture barate. Students, whatever the information which I have shared in this video is best of my knowledge. We need to wait for the official notification. The question paper pattern does not have any changes as per our Karnataka Secondary Educational Examination Board. But the marks allotment will be vary according to this year reduced syllabus. So we need to wait for the official notification. This video might be helpful for you to understand how the marks will be distributed in the board examination question paper. And you can study according to that and give more importance for the lesson which has highest priority. If you feel the content which I shared is useful, please like the video and share among your friends. You can also watch SSLC science videos in my channel. I will be also uploading application level question which is required for your board examination in upcoming sessions. Kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for the earliest notification. Thanks for watching.